Tere homikus, it's Vlad's Boredom and welcome to my latest boop 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 video and today it's like day two here in Tallinn, in Estima. Yesterday we've been a little bit around Vanalin and uh, I did the whole travel and after that I had a really good time at some bar, met a few people there and it was really really nice. I actually must say people here in Estonia are absolutely wonderful, no joke. Anyway, so this time I want to go in a different quarter of the town and instead of going to do blah 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 here, follow me around, let's go on the bus with my Uhiskart. Let's go. So let's explain first of all what the Uhiskart is. This is the regional travel card for Tallinn and Harju County, which is surrounding Tallinn. You don't necessarily need one if you want to drive on the public transport network, but I highly advise you to get one because it makes traveling a lot easier. I got on my card a 5 day ticket for 9 euros, while the Uhiskart itself costs 2 euros, which you can reclaim if you return the card. I put a link in the description about the places where you can get the Uhiskart card and also the various fare prices listed. My stop in front of the hotel is very well frequented by various bus lines, including a trolley bus line. However, I need to wait for the bus quite a bit, but not longer than 10 minutes, because the frequency is quite high, so you never have to wait too long for a bus to come. Tallinn became the first capital city in Europe to have free public transport for its citizens, so everyone who lives in Tallinn, he or she can ride the bus at no cost at all. Yet again, all of the buses were bought brand new by the city government and it shows that they invest a lot to upgrade the infrastructure of Tallinn. Now, let's take a quick look at some useful vocabulary. Tere means hello, aite means thank you, palun means you're welcome or please, kuidas leheb means how are you, and in order to answer it, you'd usually say hesti, which means good or fine. Lenuyam means airport, and railway station means just yam. To introduce yourself, say ma olen and then your name. For example, ma olen Vladimir. The numbers from 1 to 10 are the following ones. Ux, Kax, Kolm, Neli, Vis, Kus, Seitse, Kaheksa, Uheksa, Kümme. And in order to say goodbye, just say Head Aiga. Usually you won't need Estonian, as most of the people speak at least English as a foreign language. But the people will be really happy if you know at least a bit of their native language, because they are very proud of it. However, if you aren't into using Estonian or English, you can try Russian. Around 40% of the people in Tallinn are Russian speakers, which is for me a good chance to practice my Russian skills. Normally people will say go to some very fancy schmancy attractions but actually here is one thing which I find extremely odd and on top of that it became famous for very wrong reasons and I guess you've seen it if you watch Bald and Bankrupt's videos and here it is. It's the Rock of Tondi. And let's be honest, it's absolutely nothing special. But I mean, I cannot help it, it's just for the memes here. And it is not very far away from my hotel, it's just a 15 minutes bus ride. I mean, how does it look from the other side? Hmm, it has a bit of graffiti, but I mean, oh, well, whatever. It's just a random rock, but anyway, it's for the lols, guys. I don't think that I can see anything in particular here, so... Let's enjoy this day before the rain will hit, I hope, I really hope that there won't be any rain. The tram I took was the one for which Bald and Bankrupt was waiting for over an hour to arrive and to my luck the tram was right there waiting for me.
and ladies and gentlemen welcome to Gadriork Park and as you can see there is a very nice pavilion and a fountain not just one but on the other side you've got a second one as well I'm sorry if it is a bit windy but it is what it is and for me as I can feel it's very quiet it's very very quiet even though here you've got like a street but it is like closed I don't know why but I think this park is probably the main park here in the city so there's quite a few things what to explore here so how did I get to Kadriorg? I just took the tram from Tondi going all the way here. It wasn't a particularly long trip, maybe 20 to 30 minutes. To my surprise, Kadriorg is a very neat looking place with lots of flowers, plants and even fountains. I couldn't imagine that the city can be that colorful. It is also a very family friendly place which features also a Luna Park. So if you're coming with kids to Tallinn, you know the place where to go if the weather is beautiful outside. However, Kadriorg is most famous for one particular building, namely the Kadriorg Palace. The palace was named after Catherine I, the wife of the Russian Tsar Peter the Great. It reminds me a lot of the Peterhof Palace in St. Petersburg in Russia and there is a reason why. The Italian architect Nicola Michetti designed the cascades at Peterhof and the Kadriorg Palace. Today the palace houses a branch of the Estonian Art Museum displaying foreign art from the 16th to the 20th century. Unfortunately, I'm neither an art nor a museum guy and skipped that. But I was curious what was hiding behind the palace itself and I can already tell you that I couldn't believe what my eyes are seeing. A huge garden with even more flowers and fountains. Believe it or not, this is something I didn't expect at all, considering that Kadriorg is just a park. It's raining a very little bit, it's not too bad. I mean, this jacket this is like wool. It's not, it's not ab absorbing the rain. So anyway, this doesn't matter for now. What do you think about Kadriorg Park? I'll write it down in the comment section below. I would really like to know how much you enjoyed it over there. Let me tell you this thing. I've been to quite a few places which were extremely beautiful, like St. Petersburg with Peterhof and, and so on. But the thing is, um, they were like over the top. This one is beautiful. I really loved it there. Walking further down towards the sea, there's the huge monument called Rusalka. It is a memorial for a sunken warship from the Russian Empire and the sculptor who created the monument was Amandus Adamson. He was the first Estonian who created a monument in Estonia. It depicts an angel holding an orthodox cross towards the assumed direction of the shipwreck. Guys, let me tell you one honest thing. I haven't been last year and this year on a beach holiday for very good reasons. Full beaches. And 
very easy spread of COVID-19. But this is a beach. Look at this. Hardly any people anywhere. Hardly anyone. You have all the ample space for yourself. Isn't that beautiful? And on top of that, the water is absolutely clean. Let me let, check this out, guys. The water is clean. I would even really like to get into the water, but the thing is, I left my uh, my uh, my swimming shorts and uh, my towel in the hotel room. But the feeling is like as if you're really somewhere on the on the sea, like if it is in Greece, in Spain, Malta, Cyprus, wherever. It feels the same. The smell of the of the salty sea is also existent here. And I mean, right now the temperatures. <laughs> Balloon. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful, guys. I, I'm actually thinking about going back to the hotel and just go for a swim because this is something what I want to experience. And also take my camera with me because with that one I can go to swim. Not with this one. This one will go crazy broken. <laughs> But sadly, swimming is forbidden on that beach. Never mind, let's take a walk around the seashore and enjoy the scenery and the few attractions on the way. Alright guys, I'm back in my hotel room and actually before I go back into town to eat something I just wanted to finish this video but before I do finish it I need to make the room tour and as you can see right here on the door um, you see all those rooms here and like some of them are bigger like mine here so mine is of the superior category here in the hotel centennial the centennial i'm going to show you how it exactly looks like and so here you got here a little rug where i got my shoes and i got also a complimentary umbrella from the from the hotel itself then here is the wardrobe here i got already my stuff sorted in and you get like also here a laundry service. This thing what helps you to put you know, put on your shoes. You got a shoe polish sewing kit. You got even here this thing with uh, this pen for the door. And down here I got another set of slippers. You see I'm already wearing some. And you got here also a bathrobe. Actually two because it's a twin room. Here you got some additional blankets and here another pillow tableware and glassware various ones got even a kettle here is the minibar menu like what you get here inside here I got also a safe where I got my uh, got a few things of mine like my passport and my main uh, wallet. Here's the mini bar. Well, as you can see, I already squeezed a few things inside, so forgive me for that. And here I got also a few of those things from the mini bar, like those little spirits. But in general, it is pretty well stocked. But I'm not going to use it because for me a mini bar is expensive. Now we're going straight into the bathroom. Here is my bathrobe and here you turn on the lights and here we are inside. This is the toilet bowl. Here you got a bit of space where you can store something like me, for example. A hair dryer, a detail mirror, which you can also flip, I guess you can flip it as well. Yeah, you can. 
one with the zoom function, one without. Um, then you got here, well, apart from my stuff here, you got also a shower cap. And this is a vanity kit. And you got here shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, and shower gel. Here you got the soap dispenser where you need to press like this. I actually wanted to shake it up and down, but it didn't work. So that's the way how it is. And you got two glasses and here you got two sets of towels. Like I already put my small towel already up and you got one for the floor and one main towel. It's actually nothing too special, but I like that it is white and even this top shower head is working and it's really nice. And one thing what I really like about this faucet is that you can adjust the temperature in detail and there you see also when it's 40 degrees or when it's more or less. So this is a really nice indicator. Haven't seen this for a very long time actually. Here you got also uh, your hygiene bags if you need some special things. And this is actually more for women. Uh, Oh well, <laughs> me and attempting Estonia is a very weird affair. Here you got a huge mirror. And here you got a very big space. Now, what I'm going to start here is the air conditioning. It's all fully electric via this unit. You can raise or lower the temperature. For me, it's like this, auto. Yeah, something like that. Now here is a big, a very big f bed. So this is a really nice one actually. Like I slept very comfortable last night and I mean, you got three pillows. This big pillow, it's really soft and I think when I rest my head on it, I'm actually really having a good sleep. And also the duvet, very, very comfortable. And one thing what I also really like is for someone who doesn't have too many adapters. Um, you can use here the sockets like 2.1 and 1.05 amperes. And here I got also my other charger. It's really, it's really good. It's really, really good. I got here a table just to fill up the room a bit because the room is actually very huge. Like they have a lot of space and this is really, really nice. Um, here you got also a chair, which is also reasonably comfortable. I'm gonna move those things away because they're for a video coming up. And here, like, if you sit on it, it's it's definitely a very cozy chair, not gonna lie here. And then you can put here your drinks and enjoy watching something on this huge ass TV from Samsung, bro, from Samsung. And it has also a very decent amount of channels. Like you got uh, Estonian channels, uh, Finnish and uh, of course German and uh, and also Russian channels. Like you got literally everything here and also it, it is working really well. I personally think that so many other TVs and other hotels where I've been have been extremely bad. I mean, you can even watch on this YouTube because it features smart TV and I believe it's a 55 inch. So this is actually a pretty big TV so that you can watch a TV even from further back. So that's really nice. Unfortunately, I cannot understand Estonian TV, but yeah, if they have like some stuff in, in other languages like English or Russian, then I can understand it and then I have like subtitles, so then I can learn passively Estonian. And then you got here a uh, complimentary coffee, but I'm not a coffee drinker myself. A phone, some other stuff, like here you got even a pencil and some note paper. Uh, this room was cleaned by Marina. Thank you very much, Marina. You are a really good cleaning lady. This is uh, this is a good job from you. Also two glasses and very original. A tissue box. And it's in a really nice box as well, so not gonna lie here. And here I got also the card for the room. It looks like wood. And it actually is wood. And then you got here also some other stuff like 
when you smoke in the room you need to pay a uh, 190 euro fine and also you do not need to enter a Wi-Fi password and here are the breakfast times so that's actually pretty decent I got here below my suitcase and my little bag and you also got here a bin and of course this chair if you want to work like me on on the PC when you're abroad and you have here the space it's absolutely fantastic not like in this rubbish hotel in Belgrade where I've been in this uh, room which was like basically only as big as like this living room space only as big as the living room <laughs> Oh wait, there was something what I forgot, um, it was the view out of the room, so you see I got here some curtains for blacking out the windows, like those thick ones in green, and here I got those thinner ones, and you see the windows are huge, they're really huge, and well, the view is nothing spectacular, like you've got here some older buildings in the surroundings, and there's a parking lot, and like from behind there I hear often loud music and well it's during the day so it's not a big deal but I mean sometimes uh, if, p if there are some people outside or like for example when the rubbish truck was coming here I was I, I had the feeling like I, I was outside and that, that I could hear it so the sound proofing is not really that good but for me no complaints because the thing is this hotel was a really good bargain because for four nights I was able to get this room with breakfast and with paying on the spot for 225 euros yes you heard it right 225 euros and everyone who thinks like Tallinn is a very expensive place no it's not it's not like uh, like if you go to the supermarket yeah it might not be the cheapest place out there isn't it but uh, if you're going here out and if you want to have food and if you want to uh, just enjoy yourself it's not too expensive but the thing is if you want to get alcohol it can get a bit pricier so for example if you want to go to a restaurant outside and order a beer or a wine the prices are going to resemble more the german ones instead of like um russian ones but the thing is it's it's the way how it is. Uh, governments, they make their own taxes and they decide how much they want to charge you with all of this. It is what it is, guys. So I guess I finished it. So that was it from my side. I hope that you really enjoyed the video. Leave me a thumb up if you came until this point so far. Also write a comment down for some feedback as feedback is always good. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future videos because I'm 100% sure that you want to watch my future videos as well about Tallinn and about Estonia in general. Do you want to stay in touch with me? My Instagram account, my TikTok account and my Discord server are all free linked in the description down below. Stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye!